All right, what's up guys DVL spider here and man, it's been a fat minute <laughs> I'm like low-key kind of nervous to make this video uh, I don't know There's just a lot I want to talk about and a lot I need to explain and it's hard to focus and I always like leave out like something I meant to say I don't know what I want to say. There's a, there's a lot <laughs> It's hard cuz like for me personally I watch like a lot of like red people and like phase people and I don't know you just watch them like just steady cut in the calm you know what i mean and, and they make this shit look like so fucking easy like i don't even know i haven't even like been paying attention now i fucking look in the fucking webcam i probably look like a pleb all right i don't know i need to stop fucking rambling <laughs> It's been a minute since I've made a video. And like, see, so like right off the bat, my goal creating videos has always been to make entertaining Gears of War videos. Because that's something you just don't see. You don't see people who play Gears of War make cut comms. It's very weird. It's really weird to me, right? Like, you have all these people who play Call of Duty. For, it's, I, I'm mainly talking about Call of Duty because it's the most similar game I can think to that's like Gears, as in like, we're all montagers and Call of Duty people are all montagers. The thing about Gears of War montagers is people only make random clips. That's all people do. You don't see videos on Gears of War with a personality besides a few people being Landon, uh, the Razored Edge, Shadows. Shadows does like Gears news though. Like, I don't know. And you see so much Gears news. Like, like that shit always bug me how like a map comes out and then you see in your fucking subscriptions 20 people upload this stupid fucking map fly through. Like, they're like, yo, I'm a Gears of War channel, so I get a free pass to upload this Gears of War video. Even though 20 people will upload it, all with fucking less subs than the other. Like, okay, like, you have some channels that are really big, so they can reach out to a Gears of War audience. Like, that shit makes sense. But, like, a random, like, channel with, like, 100 subs uploading that shit is literally just for views. We all know that. But it's like, why, like, you see all these, like, news videos. Like, okay, there are a few content creators for Gears who, like, like mainly go for news for gears the other people who make gears of war personality videos the main one i can think of is landon maybe the only one i don't know like i feel like there's a couple other in there who are just smaller and don't do it as often but i mean landon has always done his thing like he's been at this shit for years he's fucking hilarious but he does live comms and i've always said that live comms are just harder to watch because it's a full gameplay and he he kind of cuts out like the boring shit too like he's gotten better with that because because, like people just don't want to see a raw fucking gameplay you know what i mean but it blows my mind how you see all these people on call of duty who just cut the comm all the fucking time they're always making these fucking clickbait ass i hit an 1800 fucking trick shot and i don't even play call of duty i just know about trick shotting because i watch all these motherfuckers all the time i don't even play this shit i don't enjoy call of duty playing call of duty myself but i enjoy watching these motherfuckers just going for clips and shit like that because there's so many things Things you can do with Call of Duty that you can't do on Gears, like these private match trick shotting videos and shit like that. But you see all these people who are montagers for Call of Duty making all these fucking personality videos, but nobody does that for Gears. So me myself i always wanted to be that one person who did that and broke the sigma because everybody says you can't get big on gears and for me i always thought it doesn't matter what game you play it matters the videos you make you can you can fucking play fucking viva pinata if you're a fucking entertaining guy and you make entertaining videos you will grow that's just how that shit works but nobody puts in any effort into gears even though gears has a loyal fucking fan base they think just because it's a smaller game that you can't get popular off it so that was always my goal as for making videos myself i've always loved going for clips on gears of war that's just always been my thing i've been doing it for years i'm gonna keep doing it because gears has always just been the game that stuck with me i don't know why and i'm sure a lot of you feel the fucking same so going for clips i've always watched all these montage teams and the montaging side of gears is awesome i mean look at fucking clan wars man that shit was od that was that was crazy the editing the clips like people grind this shit like they really do and look at how many people we got just over clan wars to play this fucking game go for clips and make these crazy team tages like that just proves how many people will turn out for this game how many people like playing this fucking game we have such a loyal ass montaging community but the thing is the montaging community only watches the montaging community that's how that shit works because nobody makes these personality bits 
Gears. To reach out to everybody who plays Gears as a whole and then brought into another audience after that, you need to make these personality vids. That's just how this shit works. I just hope that, like, it's me saying this to anybody will inspire them to make videos on Gears. I don't know. I'm not even that big of a motherfucker. Like, literally, I'm making this video after two months of being inactive. I'm just saying that has always been my goal as a Gears of War content creator. That's always what I've gone for. And that's why I was saying the one thing that turns me off from this is fucking on Call of Duty, playing a free-for-all game, like, you can, it's point, shoot, point, shoot. Call of Duty is so easy to be able to talk at the same time and just fucking make a video. But on Gears like this, this shit is fucking team-based. This is fucking focused and, like, we're kind of getting slapped. I'm kind of getting slapped and it's hard to talk about shit and focus on what you're saying while playing at the same time. That's the hard part about doing this on Gears. I think that's just a personal complaint of mine, but. <laughs> so yeah, on to why I've been inactive and what my plans are. I just wanted to talk about that because I feel like what has happened to me in Devile and as a fucking content creator and shit like that is like, Devile is one of the greatest teams in Gears right now. They are the only organization I have seen come out of Gears. And I mean organization as in the closest thing to FaZe you can get. I fucking love FaZe. Everybody knows I love FaZe. Those are the YouTubers I watch. Those are the inspirations for me to do YouTube. That's where I get my video ideas from. Not really, but like that's where I've gotten my format from was fucking watching my boy Jev back in the day. And I always thought that Gears montage teams were just pointless. It was all for rep. Being in Chaos or Avenge has always just been for rep. The closest thing besides the Vile is Essence because they are content creators in a different way as in they're making daily videos that are daily montages but they're still just montages. And that's why the Team Essence channel is the most subscribed Gears of War team channel, is because they make daily videos and people will subscribe to that to see daily videos, you know what I mean? That's content creating. You know, doing that, did that dude just hit a fucking quad nade? No way, that was dope. Posting a really dope montage every few months will only get you so far, as in it will gain you subscribers and it'll gain you your own fan base, but it won't get you daily active subscribers and that's where content creating is different so that's why in an organization like phase it all balances out so well is that you have people who are doing different things within the team to make sure there's a balance of everything in gears of war all you have are montagers editors and gfx you know what i mean you have the three people that can keep your montaging team going but are not gonna like progress your team in the long run in an organization like phase they have the content creation creators now they've gotten to the fucking vlogs which is just because they've gotten way past gaming and shit but they had the content creators the montagers trick shotters snipers editors gfx streamers pro teams you know they had it all and that's what devile's goal was starting off was to have everything streamers i think i'm the only content creator in the team if i'm not mistaken we have dope fucking streamers like dave and randy master putting in work and then we have fucking dope ass editors we have b East ass fucking montagers. We have fucking dope ass GFX fucking people like Jesus Christ Monsty. Like Monsty is on another level with this shit. But it's like we have all that, but now we're just another dope ass montaging team. You know what I mean? It's kind of we're kind of still like next tier. People are gonna take that the wrong way as if like, oh, Devile's fucking way better than every other montaging team. That's not the point. The point is to have the best variety out of everything to grow as an organization because Devile is the only organization within Gears. And you know what I mean by organization. There's An organization is different from a team at the end of the day. Like teams like Avenge, Days, you know, and like people in the Clan Wars. Like those are dope ass montaging teams. That's why they got to the finals of Clan Wars. Devile is a dope ass montaging team too, but it, it was trying to be an organization before and if we just kind of gotten away from that. And I don't know how that's going to change. I'm not a fucking leader. Like I don't know how that shit works. And I think it's funny too because when Devile started, I wanted to be like a leader you know what i mean because look at me i'm fucking i think of this shit you know what i mean i want to fucking progress i want to grow you know that's always been my goal but a lot of like my ideas weren't taken right off the bat when the team started i really pushed for out players to be in the team because i feel like within gears of war it's just like call of duty like there's trick shotting and sniping there's the fucking feeders and there's the out players you know what i mean we have the snipers and then there's kind of like feeders and then there's out players you know what i mean it's kind of like three separate teams 
years. Like, you know what I mean? You, ha you got the people who are like going for double blindies with snipe all day. And you got the people who are like quad nashers all day. And then you got the people who are going for outplays all day. Like it's three different things. It's three different styles of montaging and feeding and outplays kind of go together because it's both nasher. But I really pushed for having outplayers in the team. That's why people like really and finesse were in the team at the beginning. I mean, they, they got recruited and like that was before I was even in the team. Really was kind of like the outplay leader. But people, when they think of Devile, they just don't think of an outplay team because there are so many snipers compared to the outplayers. So nobody wanted to get recruited to that. That's why all these Nasher players want to go to like S and G S Q because they're just known for that. But then at the same time, they're not known for snipers. I mean, Essence is the biggest team. So that's kind of different because they can recruit somebody like that where they have B snipers. But the amount of like outplayers to snipers in that team, it's, it's more of an outplay team. I was in like a captain's chat type of thing. I don't know. I wanted to help out Devile as much as I could, but a lot of my ideas weren't taken. And because I kind of have my own fucking standards about montaging because I'm fucking trash, my shit wasn't respected as much. And that's fucking, I'm not fucking trying to talk shit at all. Like, that's just whatever. I got over that shit. I realized I just need to do my own thing and let the fucking leaders handle that shit. Because I ain't a fucking leader, you know what I'm saying? But it sucked because we kind of lost that variety. And we had the fucking esports team. We lost that too. We had like a siege thing going. I don't fucking know. We had like COD people. I, I have no clue what's going on because I'm away from this shit now. Like, you know what I mean? I've gotten so far away. As me being away from this shit now, I'm kind of like an outsider looking in on my own team. And from how I'm seeing it right now, it's another montage team. It's a more professional montage team and it's got more going for it as an organization, but it's, it's a montage team. And that's what sucked is because I never, I'm not good enough to be in a montaging team. I'm not. <laughs> you know what I mean? I have always had my own standards. I've always done this shit for fun and I have never liked the idea of scrapping every fucking clip you get and calling every clip you get fucking shit because it does, it's not like a fucking 20 man blindy with seven supers. You know what I mean? Like that's never been me. So that's what kind of strayed me away from this shit. And in clan wars, that was kind of the last straw because I was grinding my shit off. I'm like, yo, there's no way I'm going to be in this shit because I fucking love clan wars. I've always watched clan wars. I've been watching it since like the fucking first one but i've always watched these clan wars videos and i've like i've literally never been in one i was in a rise when they made it to the finals that one year i i didn't i don't think i hit shit for it but i remember i had a i had a dub tivo that was good enough i literally just didn't even send it in because i thought they would just fucking not use it that's how fucking clan wars always gets is it gets to this fucking point where it's like if it's not a fucking quad blindy like you can't even use it you know what i mean that's kind of crazy i i get why it gets to that point is because you want to fucking win this shit you want to have the craziest shit so we, we understand that but oh i no, i was in g GSQ, that was cool. I just thought of that. Um, I was in GSQ for Battle of the Clans for UE, and I had a couple clips in there. I remember fucking half my clips didn't get used in for that. See, that's why I turned myself into an editor, is because I have bad luck with editors. My boy Ferox killed my intro for Devile. That was like one of the first intros to go on Devile, and that shit blew the fuck up, because Ferox fucking killed it. Steak worked with me on my montage and did so much personal shit for it, and looking back on it now, I had him do so much shit that he probably didn't want to do but he fucking killed it. I still love that shit. But in terms of team projects, I always manage to get left out. I don't know how. It just, it bugs the fuck out of me. And there's been so many where I get left out. And I got left out of that first round. It was bad, but I said fuck it like really bad it sucks because i said fuck it not as in just like oh fuck this team like you know what i mean but i'm also really busy like i work so fucking much they literally having me work like crazy shifts now because i got signed up to do this other thing where i get paid more for an hour i have to go in mad fucking early like tomorrow i'm gonna be fucking going in there at 4 30 a.m like holy shit so that was where my fucking attitude came from because i was doing shit with other people like in my life and then i was working all the time I had school at the time. I said fuck it because it was like, okay, I'm not gonna throw in all this time just to have it not be used. And that was kind of saltiness, but at the same time, I was like, I ain't even the greatest. There's no fucking guarantee I'm even gonna fucking hit clips for this shit. So it's better to just fucking focus on my shit, you know what I mean? That's just a personal life issue. That's not a gaming thing at all. But ever since then, like, I haven't had a montage up on the fucking team channel in how long. I had my fucking mini-taj up there that Ari edited that was full of trash. 
Crash King of the Hill clips. And so now, like, what sucks is after Clan Wars, Devile is, like, on a new level with this fucking montage shit. Like, they got this fucking rep for going so far, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's like, dude, Devile, like, don't fuck with them, you know what I mean? Like, they're, like, Avenge now, you know what I mean? It's like, holy shit, you're in fucking Devile, you're a beast-ass montager, you're a beast-ass editor. And I was in this shit so long ago that I'm kind of, like, left in the dust here. My goal was to never be a, a montager, like, my goal was always to be a content creator, which is why I was explaining all that shit earlier. I always like going for clips, I always like doing montages, but my main goal is to be a content creator because I just enjoy making videos for my own channel, I like seeing the feedback, I like seeing people enjoy my videos, and yeah, but now, like, I've just had so much personal shit going on, and like, my attitude with this shit has just like changed so much that it's hard for me to make videos, and I've been going through my own shit in my personal life, like, I'm not gonna try to hop on and make a video if I'm tired or if I'm fucking not feeling amazing, you know what I mean? Like, there's just no point in trying to force yourself to make a video when you're in a shit mood. Like, and that's for anything. Like, you hear people, like, with millions of subscribers going through that shit, so they won't make a video. For a little guy like me, it's easier to just drop this shit because it's like, who's fucking watching anyways? That's a shitty attitude to fucking have because everybody's got to start somewhere. But yeah, it's just crazy because the vial is, like, on a new level now, and it's like, I feel like I can't fucking keep up. If I was anybody else besides DVL Spider, I would have been kicked by now. For real. Like, it's just that I'm homies with everybody. Like, I'm, like, one of the OG members. I remember I was talking about that shit with Monsi. I'm like, yeah, so when are you guys gonna fucking kick me? Because, like, I, I don't deserve to be here. I don't hit the shit that everybody else hit. And Monsi goes, yo, if your name is in that promo video, you're good. Like, <laughs> and I thought that was dope. There was a part of me that was thinking about leaving, too, because it was like, I can't keep up with these montages either. But, like, DVL is the fucking gang like dude i i love those motherfuckers so much like it's crazy like i thought about leaving all these guys and then i just was like holy shit like what the fuck am i doing and the only reason i thought about leaving them is just because it might benefit my personal channel more in devile it's kind of everybody goes for the team channel there's not a lot of personal channels that are getting their own growth because everybody's so focused on growing devile which is fucking dope but then like you get these personal channels that are kind of left in the dust so that's where i want to change that your boy has had no motivation motivation has been going through all this shit in his real life. I want to change that. I was thinking about the type of videos I wanted to make too because my cut comms are doing amazing. Like every time I upload a cut com, it's literally a fucking banger. It's not a banger, but you know what I mean? It just, it just does well. It does generally well. I get a lot of feedback. They're funnier to watch myself because I can take more time into editing them. Like I was doing these highlight videos, which was kind of my way of doing random clips. It was kind of like the best of both worlds. It was like clips and montage but personality with the reactions and it was just such an easy video to make where all I had to do is record it and then like cut it up you know what I mean like it's not hard and I think people kind of realize that there's like less effort that goes into it and I was just kind of saving like a lot of shit just so I could pump it out like fails and whatever and that's what I liked about it too is that I could throw in anything throw in a motherfucking outplay I could throw in a sniper clip I could throw in a Nash clip I could throw in a fail I could throw in a funny moment you know what I mean that's the cool part about highlight videos they're just not on the same level as as a cut com. What I want to do is I want to daily upload. That's always the goal. That's the goal of where to fucking get, but daily uploading is hard. <laughs> it's definitely hard, especially when you have your own schedule. But I've had my ways of thinking of like new ways to revamp cut coms and new ways to get clips in there and shit like that. And I think I have a good formula. So I want to just be making videos as much as possible. This is a big part. My goal is to become pretty much the phase Jev of motherfucking Devile. Like, Jev is that motherfucker who just uploads cut comms every day. He's not known as that montager, but he'll hit clips, you know what I mean? But nobody cares because everybody just loves Jev. Because Jev is Jev. <laughs> and that's where I want people to come to my videos, you know what I mean? Okay, like, Jev is really shit and, like, I'm also... <laughs> he's not really shit. I mean, that's just kind of a meme. And, like, it's a meme for me, too. But, like, I hit clips, too, and, like, I want to incorporate clips into my videos as well because that way everybody's pleased so that's pretty much my goal with this YouTube shit now. This was a very long video, a very long rant. I talked about a lot of shit, and if you stuck through the whole thing, you're a fucking legend. But I want serious feedback on this video. I want honest thoughts and opinions about anything and everything I talked about in this video. About the Gears of War, like struggle, you know what I mean? How things are kind of montaging wise. Just anything and everything, because the past few months I've just been thinking, what is my role in this team? I love this 
this team. It's fucking dope. It's filled with all my fucking homies. But what can I do to help it? And so that's what I want to do. I want to be that content creator for this team i want to be that motherfucker you know what i mean who just everybody goes to his channel i can talk about devile shit i can hype up devile shit i can do whatever the fuck i want and i just want to be that gears of war content creator and devile is still making moves i'm just kind of like behind the scenes now i don't know what's up and coming what i was saying in this video is just kind of my own like as an outsider looking in on my own team kind of opinion that's just how it appears now you know what i mean but devile is still fucking great i love fucking everybody in this team they're all motherfucking beasts like dude steak okay steak is my fucking best bud in the world that motherfucker is such a fucking beast at editing and it's hilarious because he's humble about it i think at the same time he knows he's a beast and like it's fucking hilarious to me but steak's progression as an editor has just been absolutely crazy and that's the cool thing about devile too is because everybody this motivates each other in the team to become better it's fucking awesome fucking frosty that's my fucking dog out there too that guy is literally the goat on ue he is that ue motherfucker he just is a beast at that game oh uh, that man just killed him in clan wars he came from fucking nowhere i remember somebody put in the fucking leaders chat like yo this guy wants to join and he had that fucking drop shot collat shit and i was like he was posting his outplayed videos and i was like yo this shit's like low-key dope like he's hitting bangers and now he fucking hits even more bangers like and he's just an all-around fucking montage or like outplays sniper clips whatever and he's just a beast at fucking everything i got motherfuckers like slay down who's a crazy out player just watching him play this game is crazy because he's so sweaty and good you got monsty who's this fucking phase g fuel motherfucker with all these crazy ass like 40 models like i'm just listening off these motherfuckers and there's so much talent in this team there is so much and it's awesome and that's where it motivates me <laughs> my goal is to become a content creator and i I just want to make my videos as good as possible. I want to be entertaining. I want people to come back to my channel every day. I want people to be upset if I'm not uploading. And so I hope this fucking shit gets across to somebody. I don't know. But this is just my thoughts and opinions on Gears of War as a whole, the whole montaging thing, just everything. Devile, my role in Devile. And I just want to see what you guys think because this is, I've been inactive and this is just where my thought process is at now. And I want to stop being inactive. I want to fucking I want to fucking do this shit like I want to grind this shit, but it's just hard You know what I mean? It's hard to be consistent, but seriously thoughts and opinions down below Let me know what you thought about anything I talked about in this video about me about my channel about devile about Gears of War about whatever Leave it down below. I want to I really want to hear like I want this to be like kind of a discussion type of thing and how people feel about Gears of War content creating and Gears of War montage and Gears of War as a whole, what you can do with it, what you can't do with it. Let me know what you're thinking of my videos. Let me know how you think I can improve. Let me know what you're thinking about Devile because Devile is just a crazy team and it has evolved so much and it's changed so much. But yeah, I love these motherfuckers to death and I don't know, like, this is a long ass fucking video, holy shit, and if you stayed through this shit, you're the fucking best. But yeah, just... We, look at we're even repping you know what i mean you guys saw this shit the whole video but i didn't even mention it um <laughs> but yeah i think i got this whole rant out of the way and this is like a more serious video this is just to lead into me making more daily videos and more entertaining and fun videos but this is like a serious discussion video honestly i feel kind of like relieved after saying all this shit there's been so much shit i've been wanting to say and i hope this video can do well spread this shit around please i want a lot of people in the gears of war community to see this video i want as many thoughts and opinions as i can see in this video if you're in a gears of war chat just link this shit in there just say hey what do you guys think about this and i'm hoping i can make this shit as short as possible i hope i didn't miss any points because it's such a long fucking video i'm playing a game and focusing i literally just got kicked because i wasn't fucking playing but i'm trying to do a long ass outro <laughs> but i think i got as many points as i wanted to thank you for watching and hopefully i can turn this shit around we'll we'll see what is in store for my channel so thank you guys again it's been dvl spider if you're new here and peace and see you guys.